Hey everyone, it's Fun Around, and my name is Jordan, and uh, we still have some injury news that needs to come out and some lines to come out. Uh, but I did find a few plays that I like, and I'm going to hop right into it. You'll see images that come up on the screen. Those would be from a data app called Outlier. There will be a link in the description with a seven-day free trial. Uh, so the first pick that I found is one that I have been going with, and uh, he hasn't failed me. Uh, it's Sadiq Bey over seven and a half rebounds plus assist. Uh, he's just been really great with this line. His last miss was against the Pacers, and that was a 34-point blowout. Tyrese Halliburton will not be playing this time around. And the Pacers only scored 112 points against the Wizards with Tyrese Halliburton out. So it's safe to say that their pace, their really high pace, kind of goes away with Tyrese Halliburton out. He is the one who, you know, keeps things going, finds open guys, and uh, it's just slowed down a little bit for the Pacers. So with DeAndre Hunter out, uh, Sadiq Bey stepped into the starting lineup, and he's gone over this line in 83% of games this year the Pacers are giving up the fourth most rebounds and the 20th most assists to the small forward position uh, we're just focusing on rebounds pretty much because the plus assist uh, just adds one to it we just need him to get one to break even and anything after that really helps with the line so fourth most rebounds is definitely what we're looking at here so if you're not on something like prize picks and you're on something like sleeper or a sports book and you want to go for some plus money you can take that assist off of there and make it six and a half and right now it's at plus 110 so you can get a boost in your money uh, with that fourth most rebounds really good matchup here for Sadiq Bay. the second play that i found is also a hawk um, it's Jalen Johnson over 25 and a half points plus rebounds. Um, he's gone over this in four out of the last six games, and he's got a really good matchup here against the Pacers, who give up the most points and the fifth most rebounds to the power forward position. So I like how he's playing as of late, and I really like this matchup for him. And if you could, please like the video, and if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. If you have a little bit of extra time, could you leave a comment for the algorithm? You can just uh, leave a W, and uh, it just helps get the video out there for more people to see. And thank you to the people who do comment. This next pick is going to be Alfred Sangoon under nine and a half rebounds now he's gone under this nine and a half rebound mark in 67 percent of games this year so two-thirds of the time he's going under the line he's going up against the pistons who give up the fifth least rebounds to the center position so on january 1st new year's day uh the rockets played against the pistons and sangoon only got four rebounds against them it was a blowout by 23 points pistons will be without Cade cunningham this could be another potential blowout and after today's games um, we've seen a lot of blowouts happen so they are tough against rebounds for centers and uh, high potential blowout so I'd rather have an under in this game uh, if you do want an over uh, Sangoon points plus assist uh, would be the way to go with a good matchup there which he went over in that game on New Year's Day in my fourth pick I went back and forth with Victor Wimbenyama on a lot of different lines the Hornets give up the second most points and the second most rebounds to the center position. Uh, they have his points line at 21 and a half. Um, he's hit it a few times with this minutes restriction. And then they have his rebounds line at nine and a half, uh, which he's hit just two times with his minutes restriction. And for the combined for points plus rebounds, that has been boosted up to where it's 11 more than what his points is. So that boost is getting kind of insane with the minutes restriction which i did read that he says he feels really good he's going to talk to the trainers about it he wants to be unleashed pretty much so he can you know go for the rookie of the year and kind of solidify that top spot so he said that could happen with a snap of a finger so so his minutes restriction could just come off randomly tomorrow and he's playing you know 30 plus minutes and he goes over his lines easily i know he burned people with blocks last game but this has been his most consistent stat with the minutes restriction um, i'm looking at blocks plus steals it's just at minus 120 now i think with that goose egg that he put up with the last game uh, so i like him over three and a half steals plus blocks he's gone over this in six out of eight games with the minutes restriction uh, so the odds that he puts up zero again would be just absolutely insane um, so i do like him to go over this this line this has been his most consistent stat 
and the matchup here really doesn't matter for him. I looked at all the teams he was doing this against, and they were tough against blocks, tough against steals. Uh, some you know had good matchups, and he was going under. Uh, it's just the matchup just doesn't matter here against Victor Wimanyama. And I want to shout out my partners, Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Parlay Play, and Chalkboard. Use promo code FINAROUND11 on any of these. I'll match your first deposit up to $100, and Sleeper will do it up to $500. So there will be links in the description for those. That will take you straight there with the promo codes. And thank you to the people who use those. And these next few, there, there's some lines that uh, haven't come out yet uh, that I'm looking at. Uh, so the Raptors. Everyone's been loving the Raptors lines as of late uh, with after that trade happened. Um, Pascal Siakam is questionable, so Raptors lines are not out yet, uh, but they're going up against the Jazz. Uh, one of the Jazz soft spots is going to be the small four position. They're giving up the second most points, fifth most assists, and second most three-pointers made. Right now, that would be Scotty Barnes. I would imagine if... Siakam is out. They might move Scotty Barnes down uh, to power forward. RJ Barrett might go small forward. They might bring quickly to the shooting guard, and, and then Dennis Schroeder might go to starting point guard. Uh, that would make sense. And I also believe they're missing Yaka Pertl. So there's a lot of movement in this rotation, but the soft spot is there on the wing, and they do give up a lot of assists and rebounds to the point guard position. And another one is going to be the center position against the Spurs. Uh, Nick Richards, I'd like to see where his rebounds line comes out at and his points line comes out at um, and see how he's been doing against that line. That's someone uh, who I'd be interested in. So just a few extra lines uh, to look out for. Um, there's a big slate tomorrow, so there's going to be a lot of plays. Um, if you'd like to discuss more lines, I have a Discord. The link is in the description where people will be discussing the lines as they come out and as more plays come out and, um, and as injury news comes out. So that Discord is free. You can just hop on in there and I'd love the, to chat and uh, see what you have uh, for the day. And we all can just work together to, to try to beat the bookies. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're doing well. God bless you all. It's fine around. My name is Jordan. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.